I want to use this example to illustrate uh, the steps that we go through to do a transient analysis. Now this simple system, just a reservoir feeding through a pump into a tank and discharging out a valve, shown here are the steady state results. Now what we're going to do is close this valve over a couple seconds and look at the pressure surges that result from this action in the system. Uh, the steps that are required to convert this from a steady state to a surge model, first we would have to go into the system data and select the type of analysis and we'll select surge from the choices instead of KY pipe. Uh, at that same time we would want to enter any additional data that's required for the surge analysis. Length accuracy, we can use the default of 10. The total simulation time, uh, we put in a time, in this case we're putting 5 seconds in. Uh, the cavitation head will default. Uh, over here we have uh, an additional bit of information for each pipe. The wave speed, uh, we're going to use user data and the attribute we're going to use under user data will be called wave speed. So we go back to the map. The second thing we'd want to do is verify or modify the system to make sure that the all the elements uh, follow the requirements for surge analysis. And that's junctions. We can have as many connections as we want. But for supplies, we can only have one connection. Here's a supply. And here's a tank supply, only one connection. For pumps, we can either have two connections, one on either side, or like a valve, we can have one connection uh, and the other side being connected to a pressure reservoir. So uh, all these are, are in accordance with the uh, requirements for surge analysis. Uh, the next step is for each surge analysis, there will have to be a variable input. In this case, we said that we were going to close this valve. Now the variable input appears under the change data here for the element that you're looking at. So if we go into that element and select the change data, uh, we'll see, we've got to be in layout mode, excuse me, we'll see the data for this, uh, to set up this change. At time zero, uh, the open ratio stem position is one, at time 3 at 0, which means the valve is fully closed in 3 seconds. So then we run the analysis and we can look at various results. So if I turn on the results here, the first result we would want to look at would be, say, the plot of the pressure versus time. And I can expand that. We start at a pressure of like 77 PSI. It goes up around 150 and then starts oscillating and it will eventually die out at a new steady state value. Now we can also look at the table of results. Under re a complete table here of results, we can cycle down through and see all the flows and pressures that we have uh, uh, put in the table. And down near the end of the table, we'll get a summary of some maximum minimum heads at each junction. Uh, finally, we can get a profile which is very useful showing the pipeline profile and the maximum and minimum pressures. We go into group mode to get that. We select a starting and ending node and now we can under analysis create a profile. And we'll get this profile uh, shows here this is going up to the pump, the pump head. This is the maximum pressure throughout the five second transient. This is the minimum pressure. and This is a very useful way of reviewing uh, what effect the transient has on the pressures throughout the flow system.